Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about diabetes. We're going to talk about what diabetes is and we're also going to cover the basic differences between diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. If you're looking for more of the pathophysiology behind diabetes in general, check out some of the earlier videos I made. Otherwise, let's dive right into talking about type 1 and type 2 diabetes. diabetes is a, a disease of metabolism, right? It's, it's an inability to metabolize carbs, fats, proteins, the, the way insulin is, it's, it's a problem with the way insulin is produced or used. Um, and there are different ways that those problems can come about. So you can actually have no insulin, um, an absolute insulin deficiency, meaning there's absolutely no insulin coming out of the pancreas. Your body is not making any at all. This is usually related to diabetes type 1. And I'll, we'll go through why in a second. Another way we can, uh, that th that whole system can be affected is you can have an impaired release of, of insulin. So the pancreas isn't producing as much insulin as we need for the demand, meaning, um, you know, we have a little bit of insulin coming out. The body's creating a little bit, but we have too, so much glucose in our system, the body's not making enough insulin to take care of that. And that can actually happen in type 1 or type 2. Type 1s tend to make very, very small amounts of insulin if, and, and tend to hit this place where they make none fairly, fairly quickly. And then you can also have a condition where um, the insulin receptors, remember these, we talked about these here, we need these receptors to get glucose into the cell. Those receptors are defective, they don't work properly, or there aren't enough receptors on the cell membrane to allow enough of these channels to open to allow the glucose to come into the cell. If the glucose isn't coming into the cell, where is it going? It's just building up in the blood, right? And so you end up with hyperglycemia. And then you can also, this isn't as common, but you can have insulin that's destroyed in the process. Um, these three are really the ones that we're going to talk mostly about today. So there are two main types. It's so important to know the difference. Um, type 1, you have this abrupt onset. Uh, usually it happens during childhood. Very few of diabetic cases are actually diabetes type 1. Most of them are diabetes type 2. For the most part, it's caused by little or no insulin production. So up here in this little list, it's, it's either this one or this one with diabetes type 1. This here, this third one, where, where there's some kind of issue between the insulin and the receptor, the insulin receptor is usually diabetes type 2. It's that, you know, we keep talking about insulin resistance and, and decrease in insulin sensitivity. That's kind of what we're talking about. This is, a, this is resistant to the insulin or uh, it's not sensitive to the insulin, right? And that's usually in diabetes type 2. Whereas, whereas diabetes type 2 is caused by um, or related to like obesity and like fat intake and so on, type 1 is actually more of a like a genetic or autoimmune issue. So it can happen to somebody whether they're obese or thin. This is where you're going to get ketosis and we'll talk about why in a bit. In diabetes type 1, insulin is always required. So a person who has diabetes type 1, they're not making enough insulin or they're not making any insulin, they must have exogenous insulin. They have to have insulin given to them or they will go into DKA and basically go into shock and die. Um, and so just I put these kind of little clues in everywhere. So if you have an absent or insufficient insulin, what's happening? Your glucose is lingering in the blood and it's unable to enter the cells to be used in metabolism. So you can imagine what's going to happen to your body, right? Whereas in diabetes type 2, you have this insulin resistance that's going on. So insulin can bind to the receptor, but it might not cause that cascade that's opening the glucose channel or it can't bind at all. Or again, you can have where you, you 
don't have enough insulin made. Um, but to be honest, it's usually one of these top two that's causing your diabetes type two. We'll talk a lot more about that next week, so I'm not going to go too far into it.